for your site. They can even add a points system for your site. First, you're going to need your plugin. The best place to download these is MyBB. There's many sites. Just do a Google search for MyBB plugins. But for MyBB official plugins, go to mybb.com. These are not guaranteed to work, although many of them do. Here, once you're at MyBB, click on the mods. Click on mods and plugins. Here is categories of plugins. As you can see, there's many plugins just on this one site alone. There are thousands of them that have been made, but this is just on this one site alone. You can make your own plugins with PHP knowledge. You will need to know how to code in PHP. It is not easy as Visual Basic. I am not going to teach you how to make your own plugin, as that is an entirely complicated subject I don't feel like understanding making you understand. So now that we're here, we can just you can scroll through these and figure out which one you want. We're going to go to miscellaneous. There's a lot to here. And just choose one that you want. I'm gonna try to find one that's easy to see that works. Many of these are in uh, they're hard to see instantly until you need them like PM replies and yeah what we'll this one rules I'll read this and tell you what it does and go ahead and download it you will need to accept these licenses. Violating these licenses is a violation of the Copyright Act. Do not do that. It is illegal and you will be put in a cage. Let's go ahead and save it wherever you want. Make a new folder, Plugins. I've never used this plugin before. I'm not even positive it will work. But anyway, it will show you what happens if it does not work if it doesn't. So after you downloaded it, just leave it and remember where you saved it. Go to your host, as we used ByteHost. Log in, go to your file manager. Or you can do this with an FBT client if you wish. Now, to see what you do need to upload, you're going to need to open it, that file. As you can see, you would have to upload the upload file in this one. That's just how this one seems to work. So just go ahead and extract it. We're going to send the ink folder to a zip archive. Something that says zip makes it all upload at one time when using a web file uploader, file manager. And using FTP is not necessary to do this, you can just drag the folder over. So after you do that, just go to your HT docs if you're using byte host or public underscore HTML if you're using a paid host and upload your file. As you can see everything is uploaded. Now that it is uploaded, you're going to need to go to your website, your form. So, copy your address. Whoops. Not even positive what I had copied there, just so you know. Just 
see, this is our form that we have made before. So log into your admin profile and go to your admin control panel. Now that you're here, on the home section there should be a quick access and click on plugins. So you can see here is the plugin that you uploaded. Rules V1.0 final. So click on the activate button. Now that you have that activated, it will be somewhere in your admin control panel. Here it is. Uh, here. Sometimes it will be on the configuration, sometimes it will be a home. Depending on the plugin you downloaded, it should specify where it is in the documentation. Just read it and find out. You can go here and change your settings. Here are your settings for it. Type in whatever you want. And now you have your plugin uploaded. Here's this plugin. It will show you the rules. You must accept them or decline them. You decline them, you'll be logged out. Accept them, you'll continue. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for the next video. Please comment or message me with any questions. Please like or thumbs down depending on if you liked it or if you're a fag. I love you all. Have a great day.